What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Machiavelli, and I'm back with another reaction video. Now, this time, I ain't gonna ask you guys to subscribe because I feel like if you like my content, you gonna like and you gonna subscribe. Like, if you feel that way, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if I tell you guys to subscribe, you guys won't do it. But... If I just leave that optional and leave that option up to you guys whether you guys want to do it or not, you guys probably will. If you guys like my content. But let's say if you guys do subscribe, you guys will be shouted out on my channel, which brings traffic to your channel or your social media. You feel me? But anyway, you guys, this is an NBA voiceovers of April 2021 must watch. Oh, and before I forget, you guys, I did some research on the guy in my recent video, the celebrity lookalike or celebrity prank video with Gerald Houston. And I said that the guy was Cassidy. That's not Cassidy, y'all. I knew it wasn't, but I just couldn't think of who he was, but he did, did look familiar. So I did look him up and Mr. Commodore, that's who that was. So I want to clear that up right now that that's who that was that wasn't Cassidy even though they did kind of look like it's just one is a little bit more light skin than the other and one has facial hair that goes like this and then the other one is clean shape but anyway let's get into the video bro Clay what up LeBron James what's up man all right all right, all right. I need to holler at you about something what's up I know you injured but I know you can still hit them threes without jumping I need you on the Lakers all right well I need 50 million that it shit all right all right I'll request a trade that's what's up Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Curry, I need to holler at you about something. Hey, what's up, Kawhi? In your face. Bang. Excellent trajectory. Thanks. Hey, meet me in Brooklyn. Hey, Kawhi, you ready to come to Brooklyn? Nigga, win. Damn, shit. AD and Brown might come back. I will reference my calculations. For real? Real shit. Hey, come on. I'll take you to the strip club. <laughs> 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 hey, the steal. Gets it to Westbrook and Westbrook. Bang, pow. Yes! Holy fuck! Hey, pick a rope. Get that shit out of here. That was clean. Uh, just here to play some D. The fuck? Hey, man, get your dick off me, man. Take on that nigga. Man. He's trying to play D. He pushed me. Man. man I'm just trying to D up, man. Look at the All right, that's enough. That's enough. Take on that nigga, Dwight. Get your bitch ass out of here. On ring right night? He's steadily trying to, he's steadily trying to grab a ball, my boy. He, he, he. Oh, uh, uh. Get your bitch ass out of here. Two shots, man. Check out Rajon Rondo just rubs the ball over Shooter's forehead. Wow, it's like he teabagged him on national television. <laughs> look at his <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> dude, I said this before in my past voiceover uh compilation reactions. Dude, there's no respect in basketball, bro. I feel like. It's not because the two different teams are from two different places, but it's just once one team is winning, like, naturally, the other people get mad or the other team members, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, that's crazy, bro. It's like, no, you didn't. The disrespect. Why you do him like that? I got hit by all my nigga cat. You feel me? All right, that's enough. Shut your ass up. Damn, Sean. <laughs> hey, bro. So The nigga drumming about to get bought out. We got to sign him. For real? See right there? The wall's gone. Oh, hell yeah. We about to sign him. Ugh. You fuck off me. Foul on a nigga loco. Technical foul on a nigga loco. Excessively angry. I know give fuck. That motherfucking Gilly Graffiti. Hey, bro, you got That's bullshit. I got the best default around. Fuck out of here. Oh, no. I am the best defender of all time. No. I'm the blocking. No. Damn, I barely. He mixed his cell phone that one. The ball since 2006. Shit's getting real. Like, my but man you know, didn't go nowhere. Gets real. The GM always has something up his sleeve. Raymond, man. What do we have here? The Lakers signed at home a Andre Drummond. With the NBA playoffs less than two months away. And LeBron and AD still out on injuries. And not to mention the West has gotten even better. Will Melo win rookie of the year? Or will Anthony Edwards come and take it? Will LeBron and AD recover in time? Will this new power level of this trio be enough to take down the ISO game? Three All-Stars and five Hall of Famers? 
Find out next time on Basketball Z. Bruins 74, Alabama 70. Here's Harmy Jacquez and yes! Nails a three! And that is the dagger for Alabama! Wow! Oh my golly wally, why he do him like that? Check out Jaime. They gave him way too much fucking space. He fires up that three, night, night, Bama. What a fucking upset! What? So far, this shit is pretty close. 29, 28, what a pass, and he dishes it in. Goes up hard! Oh my goodness! Holy yes. fuck! So shocked he didn't bring the building down with that one! And this game is brought to you by Courtside Betting. DM Courtside Betting. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Where there is no hassle withdrawal. Johnson, fake ass, Anthony Davis is loving it. <laughs> this motherfucker is lit. March Madness. Bro. And look at the arms of Kirkwick. And he knocks it out of the hands of Kodak Black. Oh, Kirkwick, he looks old as fuck when he's really young. What a play by Kirkwick. He's very awkwardly built. And he's not athletic. He's sloppy, but he knows how to play basketball. That's for sure. I'm in having the a seizure. That's what I'm talking about. Isaiah Mobley bringing up the rock like he's a point guard. Wide open. Three is on the way. And the Trojans are destroying Kansas like the Twister and the Wizard of Oz. So what are we up against, LeBron? Hey, Bugs, I'm LeBron James. And ain't nobody I can run into that I'm scared of. We're going to beat everybody, man. I don't know, Doc. <laughs> Magic, you think the Lakers are going to win another championship? Who gon' beat him? If AD and LeBron is healthy, who in the hell gon' beat my L.A. Lakers, baby? You already know. The Clippers is worse than they was last season. They are bust. Then, the Denver Nuggets, Lakers, Damn. won <laughs> games. Utah ain't shit, and ain't nobody scared of Phoenix. Hey, man, I bet you didn't know I was a tattoo artist, too, man. I told you I was more than an athlete. Nigga, this tap finna be lit, homie. Cause I'm LeBron James, nigga. <laughs> we already know how good you are on the damn court. What about the chip? I want to see you get a damn championship. We already know you can dunk on people. Everybody that's seen you dunk the damn basketball and flex your damn muscles at the crowd. Well, not really a crowd at other teammates because we in a pandemic, but... I'm sick and tired of all the fancy damn highlights of Russell Westbrook. Show me a championship, goddamn. You got Bradley Bill, you had Paul... George and Kevin Durant, and you still ain't got a championship, goddammit. When the fuck will you realize you need a championship? I'm sick and tired of all the fucking triple doubles and the points you scored. Don't nobody give a shit about your damn point. Show me the damn ring. Why you don't care about a championship, nigga? The fuck? I'm already a champion. I made it out the hood. I'm rich as a bitch. I'm giving back to my community. I'm still helping out OKC, even though I don't play there no more. I'm a fucking champion. Stephen A. Smith always criticizing somebody, man. He was just talking about... Why he got to make oh, his voice sound like that, bro? Stacking the team and trying to get a championship. Now he going to ask me why I'm not trying to win. You can't win for fucking losing. If I had five all-stars Sorry on about my that, team, y'all. then they'll be saying I'm trying to stack the team. When I don't got five all-stars, they talking shit like, why you ain't got a championship? I'm like, motherfucker... <laughs> I'm a champion right damn now. I know a lot of players with championships and they miserable as fuck. Them niggas ain't got no hoes, no nothing, man. Uh, I got a lovely ass family. And you know what I'm saying? It makes me happy, you know? I don't give a fuck about a championship. If I win one, I just uh, win one. You know, who gives a fuck? I'm happy to be out the motherfucking hood and that's enough to make me a champion, motherfucker. I'm done talking. Bruh, imagine if you sounded like that in an interview. Or imagine you talk like that in an interview. I can't wait to see you. I'm going to spit on your fucking face. You had your chance to be tough with Draymond. We ain't talking about Draymond. We talking about your ass. All right, let me ask you a real question. Yeah, I'm going to split. Let's squash it for a minute. What's up with your hair? You know what, bitch? Meet me on the fucking corner of West 17th tomorrow so I can spit in your fucking face. No, you do. You have dope skin. Brain punk ass Charles Barkley with you. You should be a Noxzema spokesperson. Fuck, Fuck you, you, bitch. Why are you worried about my snake. interviews anyway? All Charles you do is better. worry about other motherfuckers. Worry so about your own shit. 
Pussy. And yeah, LeBron's so bad. Pussy. Yeah, you talking on LeBron shit. We're gonna see who get a who fucking championship number? this season, bitch. Asshole. Matter of fact, what's your address? I'll come to your house, pussy. Get a haircut. I'll pull up on your ass. Fuck out of here. Meet me at Catch State. <laughs> That's the end of that video, man. If you guys like this video, man, give it a fat thumbs up, bro. I don't know what's going on, man. Like, <sighs> like I feel like I know everybody gonna say that this don't matter, right? But I'm trying to figure out what kind of content do you guys like? Well, actually, the views, the view, the number amount of views. That speaks for itself. Like I've reacted to, I think you guys stick more to like the NBA voiceovers over everything else I've reacted to. Cause like I'll look at the NBA voiceovers and the YouTube analytics and stuff. I got more traffic on the voiceovers than I've done on music videos, etc. You know what I mean? Like, but damn, bro. Like, cause I'll be having like a hundred views on this, but I only got like three views on that. <laughs> like, what's going on? But I don't know if the if it's the pandemic and people were able to had no choice but to stay at home and you know the music video reaction I did featuring Mo3. Um, I guess that was like around spring break, so I guess you guys were on spring break when I reacted to that video. But anyway, man, <sighs> show your boy some love, bro. Like, cause these numbers is looking kind of eh, and then bow. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like I see good traffic one day and then the next day it's like nobody is messing with my content. Point is, I work my ass off to put these videos up for you guys, bro. So no, I don't want to hear yo Mike, you getting in your feelings, but it's just like that's really how I feel, bro. Imagine if you guys want to do something um that's like entrepreneur or you want to be in business for yourself, right? And you're you're building that, right? But while you're building that, you don't really have anybody to support you. You, you, everybody is just like, oh, we mess with this, but we don't mess with that. But like I say, that's good because it shows me what you guys take to more versus everything else. You see what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. Y'all can even let me know if I'm tripping or not. Or if I'm like just like thinking too much into it, but that's just how I feel, man. I feel like if you really rock with somebody, you would. But then, I can't really say that because you liking something even though you don't like it is not being a real fan or a real supporter, and you're not really being keeping it at a hundred with the person that you're supporting. But I don't know, man. Y'all just let me know what y'all think. But gang, we up out of here. I got two. I got part two of this, and I got part three on the way. And then I did get another um, video request from somebody else, and I'm going to react to that video after I get part two and part three of the voiceover thing over with. You feel me? And then we're going to get on that. So that way I'll have four videos dropping this weekend. So y'all stay tuned for that, man. Mike and Billy gang, we up out of here. Y'all have a blessed one, a safe one, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.